I have been working in telly for over 20 years. And before that, for the 10 years previously to that, I was a model. So I was working in the fast fashion industry. So over the past 30 years, I've been around clothes, fashion, styling a lot. Nine of the UK's best young designers. Their challenge? To create incredible outfits <laughs> oh, made from pre-loved and rescued clothes and materials. My relationship with fashion, it has its ups and downs because I love fashion. I've been dressed by other people when I was a model and, you know, in that respect, you kind of wear what people put you in to create an image. But now my relationship with fashion is very different because I only wear what I like. <laughs> <laughs> and what I want to wear. And I like to try different things. I think as I've got older, I've started to care less about worrying about what other people think about what I'm wearing. And I just kind of want to wear what I want to wear. I also love suits and trousers. I would always opt for that over a dress. I think for me personally, I feel much more comfortable wearing things like this and I feel like I carry myself a bit more confidently because when I feel comfortable in what I'm wearing, it gives me more confidence as a human. I brought this in. I did. Oh, I'm so happy that you're using it. And why should we make fashion more sustainable? I think we need to make every industry that, that adds to global warming as sustainable as humanly possible. And unfortunately, clothes have a big impact on our planet. So anything we can do to try and help that, I think we're seeing it so much more now with the things we see and hear on the news and how our, our climate is changing, that we need to be acting as fast as we can. And if clothes and fashion is one small part of the puzzle that we can change quickly, then it's only going to benefit the whole of the human race and, and future generations. The name of it is like giraffe life. It's more about the wildness of the giraffe more than the actual giraffe. I think I'm going to take elements from an animal and put them into an outfit. My head is conjuring up so <laughs> many things right now. The way I shop more sustainably is I, tr I try to just go for a kind of staple wardrobe. And if there's anything I kind of want outside of day-to-day -day life, <laughs> I will pick a piece that I think has a really long shelf life so that I can wear it and wear it and wear it. So if there is anything like this suit, I'll pick it because I love it. I know that I'll always love it. It says something, but it's also quite classic. I try to pick clothes that have longevity. And if I ever find myself having an impulse buy, I try to buy it and bear in mind that it could either be made into something else or I know somebody who I could give it to that would love it. Are you having to adapt it very much from the original idea? It will look similar. For the feathers, I'm probably going to change that by making it look messy. I love that I have facilitated messy. <laughs> oh, my favourite... Well, I'm not sure if it's an actual thrifted item of clothing, but my favourite... I suppose it is thrift, because it was my mum's from the 70s. And unfortunately, <laughs> only one leg would fit in it. It's so small. But it's a little 70s suede miniskirt, and it's over the years been passed down. It went from my mum to my big sister, and then it went from my big sister to me. I'm the middle one. And I literally hid it in the wardrobe and never gave it to my little sister. <laughs> Um, but it's a piece of our mum that, that we have, you know, I wish I had all of whatever her 70s wardrobe was, because, I mean, it would be amazing, but, I mean, it wouldn't fit me, but it'd be great to look at. Have you heard of this thing called landfill? Hmm. Massive garbage dumps where humans chuck their rubbish, including perfectly good clothes like us. Ugh. And guess how long us clothes stay there before we rot away? Six months. Five minutes? A fortnight. A year? Two hundred years. What? No. The only advice I can give is probably what I know, and that is to be mindful of, of your choices, whether that's choices of what you're buying, where you're buying. And I do have a whole wardrobe full of my eldest daughter's clothes to give to my youngest daughter <laughs> as she grows up. And I always try to recycle them. And actually, a charity shop is my last place I go to. So 
I try and give it to charities that I know are directly gonna give it to somebody who will benefit from them, whether that is people who are going to job interviews and need maybe tailoring and I've got quite a bit of that. So, you know, you can pass it on to people who you know are gonna need it and use it. And I also try and distribute it around friends and family. So I'll get a bag together, I'll give it to my mum. She's got like seven sisters and they all get it and then their daughters get it. And so <laughs> you have to spread the love um, as far as you can so that it's not all just going into landfill. Check out Style It Out on iPlayer now.